Good morning, my loves. How are you this morning? We've got sunshine, we've got blue skies, and it's all very peaceful and tranquil outside. And we've had so many storms this weekend. Oh, we've had a battering here. Um, certainly in my part of the world, in Yorkshire. I hope it's been not so bad where you are. I hope you've got sunshine today and I hope everything's calming down. So welcome to our live interactive reading and we're going to be doing a pick a card or pick a dice today. And I've left up the altar from last week because I just love it so much. It's the 7th of February. Good morning my loves. Nancy's coming in with her coffee. Good morning my love. Julie Johnson's here. Have you got coffee, Julie? Oh, I'm going to get some coffee after I've finished um, doing this with you. Good morning to Helen Quinn and Anne McGarry and Julie Hans and Colleen. Good morning, darlings. Well, you know what? Oh, good night from Julie Kubiak. Are you going to bed, darling? I haven't seen you for ages. We must talk. I feel like I've not seen or heard from you for like a gazillion years. I'll message you straight after this, my love. Susie Boots is watching. <laughs> Julie was autocorrect. I was thinking, Julie's been doing pulling an all-nighter. Good morning to, to the lovely Laurie Fantasia, who's bringing me stars. If you'd like to send stars, I won't fight you. I won't fight you over it. You'll see the little stars icon at the bottom of the screen. If you want to send them, they are very gratefully appreciated because they go towards all the lovely little accessories that I use in the group. Good morning to Cindy O'Shea and Joanne Thomas. And Susanna Pelias and um, Julie Hans, good morning with your with your lovely rainbows. Danielle Bowen, good good evening to you. And Joy Cook, good morning. <coughs> Helen Quinn, did I say hi to you? Um, Fiona Colleen, how are you doing? You got coffee. Oh, I'm jealous. Ashling's here. Good morning. Oh, you know, last week. Good morning, Michelle. How are you doing? Janine smelt the morning. Last week was so exciting because the book and the card decks, they all got sent out. We had our first, our first golden ticket winner as well, the lovely Lorraine Johnston. She won the first golden ticket. Now, I've not heard from anybody else. So if you get a golden ticket, um, then get in touch with me immediately so that you can, I can tell you how to spend your £50 in my online shop. But did you get your books yet? Let me know if you've if you've had your book. Your book arrived and your card deck. I want to know. Now it is your last opportunity to get the book pack with the card deck and everything at the. Um, it's still a good price. It's not as it's not as um, reduced price as it was when we were doing the um, pre-orders. But you can still get the book pack together and still save a little bit. Um, but it's got some gorgeous things in it. Look, we've got a guardian angel word search there. We've got a little key activity. We've got all kinds of beautiful things in the book. Learning how to angel journal, learning to um, use beautiful affirmations before you go to sleep and when you wake up. And then we've got loads of archangel activities and prayers. And oh, it's packed. It's absolutely brimming with information. It took me a lot of time to research that. It's all full colour. Designed by the gorgeous Cassia. Julie's saying you got yours and it's beautiful. Thank you so much. I know those of you who are across the water, who are international, you are going to have to wait a little bit longer for yours, but I do appreciate you so much. Thank you. Sue Stainer, good morning, Janine. You love yours. Oh, it makes me so happy. Susie wants all this about stars. It's telling me I have free ones. Sending them. Oh, if you've got free ones, send them, please. Send them in my direction. <laughs> Happy Monday to you, Sue Stainer. And Christiane, you're still waiting for yours to arrive in Australia. They went to nine countries last week. Nine countries. Ridiculous. It was just crazy. I'm not ridiculous. Ridiculous good. I was so excited about it. So excited. Um... Yeah, so it was a very exciting week last week. Um, very, very stressful. <laughs> Good morning, Lucy Buxton. How are you doing? But yeah, very exciting. Good morning, Margarita Jeffries. Um, so I realised, right, last week, I'm going to lay the cards down, down, out, while I talk to you. Multitasking, that's me. So we're going to have a couple of cards from the Angel Tarot deck. So yeah, 
as I was getting frantic and signing books and wrapping them in beautiful tissue paper and putting your little free gifts in with them, I was thinking, hang on a second, I'm sending these to nine different countries. I am literally, you know, this is a dream. This is, um, this is a dream that I've had for a long time to be publishing my own books. And then the other thing is on Sunday morning, my online shop told me you've had 6,000 orders. This is your 6,000th order on Sunday morning. A lovely Colleen Ferguson Smith ordered something and she was my 6,000th customer, 6,000th order in the six and a half years that I've had my online shop. So that was an amazing, amazing landmark and um so of course i had to mark that and i sent her a free reading so i did a little reading for her and sent it to her on sunday so there you go there's um there's really kind of amazing crazy things happening but it's taken a long time it's been six and a half years of showing up constantly you know turning up doing the work and it's been slow growth and um, I just feel like I wouldn't have it any other way because it's got me to a place where I've got to know all of you. And, you know, if I had a million followers, it'd be lovely, wouldn't it? But I wouldn't get to talk to you all like I do because your comments would be whizzing up the screen and I wouldn't really be able to... Um, I wouldn't be able to, to see them and I wouldn't be able to interact and engage with you in the way that I can. As I've got a, they call me a micro influencer. I'll take that. That's very nice. Um, Ashling, you could do with a card today. Well, everybody is getting a card. Nobody is getting individual card readings and sitting having to listen to everybody's reading. We're going to do a pick a dice. Okay, so do you want number one, which has the hat on it? Do you want card set number two that has the bicycle? Do you want card set number three that has the coffee cup? It could be a teacup. You take it however you like to imagine that, visualise that. So think about those choices. Tina Carter and Fiona White. Um, Julie's choosing the dog paws. Well, it's meant to be the coffee cup, but it has got dog paws on it. You are right in that, you know, choose whichever one you feel is talking to you, calling to you. Um... On, so on that note, we've got a Christmas tree there and we've got a moon and stars on the second one. Good evening, Nicole South. How are you doing? Andrea Mexican, good morning. Janine Smell, you are an absolute darling. She said, you say it's a dream. You are a dream, my lovely. Oh my goodness. What did I do to deserve such wonderful people like you guys? You are amazing. And Susie, your booking cards arrived. And Julie's got a half geode. <laughs> <laughs> like mine they're lovely aren't they Laurie you need a little map with pins I do I do because my other uh, wonderful exciting thing is I've got a new country a, a buyer from a new country Curacao somebody from Curacao or just something so it's very um I get giddy about these things it's lovely but I also love it when people in the UK and Ireland and Spain and you know I just, I just love it. Whoever you are, wherever you are, I'll take you all. <laughs> Breeders in Ireland. Good morning, Breeder. Debbie Tetra is here. Michelle Renson. To coffee and dogs is a total winning combination, isn't it? Just or tea and cats. It could be. Jackie Bradshaw's here. Little star pins or something. Yes, I should. Shouldn't I really? Linda Biles. Hello, darling. And Carol Bell. Good morning. Shall we get on with the reading then? If I, I'm just, just checking, I've not missed anybody. Jane Padley, good morning. I had missed you. Tina Carter, good morning. Julie's going for the hat. Good morning, Anne McGarry. All right, let's go. Let's go. Gemma Crow is picking the bicycle. Gemma Crow, did you get your book pack yet? Posted yours out. It's like ASAP I did last week. I hope it's got there because I've always got problems posting to you, haven't I? Thank you for the stars, Linda. Sujata, good morning. <laughs> You're out of coffee and milk. Um, oh, thank you, Gemma. Pause, please, as both your cats just had their 10th birthday. Oh, Sandy. Hello, Sandy. She was on my workshop the other day. 
We've got 444 stars, 444 and 44 people watching. Oh my gosh, goosebumps, angel number. Thank you, angels. The angels have been sending me some crazy messages this weekend. I tell you, it's just been making me kind of have like a little mini melt. <laughs> um, okay, so here we go. This is the message for the beginning of the week. And we have the Queen of Water. Ah, now, do you know what? Queen of Water with her killer whales. Thank you for the stars, Carol Bell. And this is, oh, I'm glad you did, Gemma. Whew, relief, because I'm always putting the wrong address on Gemma's. I don't know what it is with Gemma's parcels. I put the wrong address and she has to go down the street and kind of beg for her parcels from her, from her neighbours. But I think it's probably because I wanted you to get to know your neighbours. I don't know what it is. And Julie woke up at 4.44 a.m. That is the angel moment. When you wake up at 4.44 a.m., go, thank you, angels, don't get grumpy. Say thank you. So this is like you are a little earth angel. This is you. I don't care whether you're um, masculine, feminine, or anything in between, however you identify. This is the divine feminine within you, the patient, loving, tender-hearted, empathetic, I can't say that word, you. Surrounded by your people. These are your people. They are circling you. They are bringing you light and love. They're coming towards you. you. You're pulling them in. You're calling in your tribe. So you know how sometimes we feel like nobody gets me. Do you ever feel like that? Nobody understands me. I'm not appreciated. Just feeling a little bit alone. So when you feel like that, switch it around and say to yourself, I am calling in my people, I'm calling in my tribe. Angels, bring them to me. Because sometimes you have to have a people clear out in order to create space. In fact, Gemma was talking about that this morning in her little vlog. And she was saying about being creative, you have to create space first for creativity to flood in. And I love that because this is very much about that. It's about going. You know what? I'm part of everything. When I look at that tree outside my window, I'm connected to that tree because me and that tree have exchanged oxygen and carbon dioxide. That's how connected I am. So I'm never alone. And just know that if you're patient enough, if you send the love out that you want to see coming back to you, it will be reflected in your life. It will. Because, you know, you're part of the cosmos. And sometimes... The cosmos wants to create that space to, to make us feel a little bit alone. Sometimes we need that alone time, that space. And you have to just kind of go with that when the universe wants to hold you back. It's for a reason. It's charging you up. When it wants to open the doors to opportunities, you've got to go with those opportunities. You've got to feel the fear and do it anyway and all of those kind of cheesy sayings. Now, Laurie said it's so hard, but liking less toxicity daily that when you, you know, in my book, sorry to keep plugging this, but there's the really important message about high vibrational energy. And I used to hear that message, raise your vibration. I used to go, what does it mean? Kyle Gray talks about it a lot, but I never knew what it meant. And I thought it was just a fancy thing that people were talking about, but it's about the minute you wake up in the morning to tune the dial on your personal radio to get into the frequency of the angels that are surrounding you, the high vibrational people that you want to be connected with. And when you do that, when you wake up and you go, I'm not going to feel like, oh gosh, I've got this going on. I feel really angry about this, or I'm a bit worried. Or I'm not feeling well. Is to go into a state of appreciation, gratitude, love the affirmation. In the book, you get a little card that has an affirmation for the morning and an affirmation for the evening for you to place by your bedside. And to start your day on a high vibration and then to spend your time with high vibrational people and activities. Gemma went to a gong bath, we went to a sound bath. Sound baths are amazing. You can get them free on YouTube if you can't go out and you can't find one in your local area. I've got wind chimes. You know, there's so many different things you can do to raise your vibrations. Anyway, read my book or just search, just research it on the internet. So this is all about you getting into good vibes. Um... Now, Laurie made a good point. That's why you love these Mondays. And Monday can be a day where we really define the week, don't we? Whatever we do on a Monday, which is why I go live with you on a Monday. I mean, I know it's 
the best time, isn't it, to share the weekly messages, but it sets the tone for the day. I come off this live and I am beaming from ear to ear because you guys, you just give me so much good vibes and, and high energy and positivity. I just love you all. And I was saying to my daughter um, this morning, um, I am so lucky to have the audience that I do because every single person is so nice. Nobody ever posts weird stuff. I'm never having to block and ban people apart from the shysters that are always trying to, you know, say I'll give you a free reading and then <laughs> trying to get your bank details. That's the only thing I have to contend with, but everybody's so beautiful and you're all making friends with each other and I love that. And Gemma's so grateful this morning to a beautiful friend who called to check in on you. Oh, aren't beautiful friends the best? I have so many of them, including you. So this is our card for the second half of the week. Raise your vibes. Be the thing that you want to attract towards you. Oh, have we had him before? Oh, I think we have. I love him. Thank you for showing up. Thank you, angels, for bringing the victory card to us. Victory is ours, my loves. Yes, yes, yes. So all of us, all 57 of us that are watching live, well, make it 58 because I'm one of you, aren't I? If this is you riding in back into the kingdom from having to been into battle and you've won. You have won. So whatever it is you're battling for this week, do it with grace. Do it with kindness. Rise above. If anybody's treating you a certain way, don't go down to their level and retaliate in the same manner. Rise up knowing that you're always protected, that the karmic forces will deal with whatever those people or those situations have, have done because karma does deal with it. Not in that kind of nasty way. It's like the corrective balance of the universe, the universal forces. So it is about saying, you know, I rise above and I go to my higher self and I consult with my higher self about what to do next. And if I don't know what to do, I do nothing. I stay quiet. I go within. I am the bigger person because I know that I'm golden and nothing can harm me because I've got these amazing people and angels and guides surrounding me. And when I do that... Cassie is here. Good morning, darling. Astrid Twig, good morning. Vanessa Dempsey. We have victory. We have the balance that we've been seeking here. We have that fire energy of that. You know, you can pursue your passion and get what you want out of it. It's possible to have it all. This is the having it all card, but it's having it all after having gone through the struggle, having believed in yourself when others didn't, having faced up to truths, having gone there and got the battle scars, but you come back winning and smiling and you come back victorious. And look, everybody's throwing these rose petals in front of you going, look at them go. They're amazing. <gasps> Aren't those beautiful messages? And also what I love is, I do love to get an archangel coming out in the weekly messages. I'm not going to lie about that. But the archangels cards represent the major arcana, which represent big shifts, big things happening. And sometimes we don't want big things happening. We just want nice, quiet, smooth, victorious, passionate tender-hearted energy don't we we want cool we want calm we want beautiful i don't know about you but that's what i want so then we have our message from the oracle of wisdom and beauty deck and this is telling a new story we're not going around in circles anymore because we have a choice you know we don't have a choice over how other people treat us or how situations unfold according to you know the laws of whatever is going on around us but we have a choice around how we re react or respond to that and when we go to our highest self because our ego butts in straight away our ego just goes how day what an outrage i'm not going to be treated like that rare <laughs> that's me that's me in my um um aries rising and just go rare and then when i stop and i go okay ego right i'm gonna go and have a chat with my higher self i'll come back to you and my higher self always goes, oh, Natalia, that's dreadful, isn't it? But we're not going to go there. We're not going to do that. We're going to take a deep breath. We're just going to sit with this, going to think about it. And you know what the right thing to do is. It's not the easy thing. It's the right thing. And my higher self is so lovely, but very different to my ego. 
So this is the untold story is like, what is the truth? You know, with this bunting that you are always victorious. You know that you can always rise above these things that want to pull you down. But you're bigger than that. Tell a new story and don't get hooked into um, your backstory or, you know, the story you want to tell yourself where you want to add in, fill in the blanks of information you don't have. You want to fill it in with negative stuff. Don't do that this week. Rise above and you will be victorious. And then we have um, a little card for the week from my Angels and Chakras deck. Truth and integrity. Oh, this is this is a theme. <laughs> I was talking to Gemma about this last week. It's a theme, truth and integrity. Wow. So this is Archangel Michael and he's saying thank you. Oh, sorry, this is the prayer to Michael. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me the courage to speak my truth and to be honest with myself. Thank you for helping me live with integrity and to be my authentic self. So I have a little homework for you because these cards are like little homework tasks, little journal tasks for you to go away and ponder on this week. What three small changes could you make to help you live a life that is more aligned with who you really are? Now, my first change that I'm making this week is I am going to Liverpool tomorrow to work from Liverpool. I'm going to stay over. My daughter's um, at university in Liverpool. She's staying there at the moment. And I'm always so busy. Like I always said, I'm going to go and sit in the Tate Gallery and write. And I talk about it and I don't do it. I overlook in the Albert Dock, the waterfront, having a nice coffee. And I thought to myself, I'm going to do it tomorrow. So that is what I will be doing tomorrow. And that's one of the changes that I'm making. I've cleared space so I can actually do that tomorrow. And that's my, my truth and integrity that I'm actually going to walk the talk that I'm always saying I'm going to do. How about you? I'd love to hear what small changes you want to make this week. Okay. Um, have I missed anyone? I want to say good morning to Stephanie Faru and Debbie Dura and Ulari Obama. Ob Obonara, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm just so rubbish at pronouncing names i've got to get my act together with that honestly balance and justice keeps coming up for you laurie diane shake good morning evening astrid you stood up for yourself at the weekend julie and it sh it shocked you because you don't normally do it wow well i do it too much and i need to just kind of simmer down a bit kamal good morning to you stand on your true power absolutely michelle Jackie Bellaney's watching. Oh, I must reply to your message, my love. And Maria Murphy. Good morning. Thank you for the stars, Alari. Um, Jane Padley, good morning. Courage to do that, absolutely. Oh, you've got a new journal coming, Janine. Sorry, I'm just scrolling through your messages Helen Royston good morning okay so can we now move on to our interactive messages so you get a personal message so did you want number one with the hat did you want number two with the bicycle or did you want number three with coffee cup or the, the, the pause um did I say good morning to Vula if I didn't good morning Right, let's start with the hat, okay? So the hat is represents the crown chakra. And that is all about you. Really um, getting into um, a place where this week is really important for you to connect with your, your um, angels, your higher self. Maybe you've been searching around for answers and you've been looking for answers outside of yourself. But you have all the answers you need within you. And if you just take your hat off and open up your crown chakra do a little meditation there's some free ones on my online um on my um youtube channel or just um search around for crown chakra meditation on youtube or just sit quietly with your eyes closed hold a clear quartz crystal or a piece of celestite or angelite or selenite and just take some deep breaths and um, envisage opening your crown chakra opening up to messages from the divine 
what to avoid this week, whatever's underneath, okay? So we're gonna have a look and see what's underneath, what to avoid. We've got burger. So this means fast food, greasy, unhealthy things. It also means this whole kind of jam packing, you know, things into your schedule where you're just so busy, busy, busy and you don't actually know where you are. It sounds like it's time for you to rest and to reflect and to ask your higher self, what would you have me do? What you know best. What am I here for? What's what's this week good for? Um so yeah, just be as healthy as you can, mind, body, spirit. That is what to avoid is is the packing things in, the fast food. The fast consumption of things, it's just like slow it down. Slowing down will bring you progress, strangely enough. Um, Mona is just getting an e-bike this week. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, so we're going to start with this card. And this is Divine Animals. Oh my gosh, I love this. Number 22 is the Master Builder number. So you're building something important this week. You're building a divine connection this week. Now, with the divine animals, this could be an animal in spirit. And if, you know, say it's a cat, say you have a cat in spirit, then they have evolved into a, a lion. They've really gained their power in their wings and they want to give you some messages through your crown chakra and sending you the love and the bravery and the courage to be able to open up to higher frequencies, higher messages. If you have a, a lovely animal spirit guide um, or, a, you know, a pet that's passed over, they're going to be helping you this week because they can give you so much more support from the position that they're in. But there is an animal spirit that wants to connect with you. So take a look around and see where you are being given the nod as, we, as to which is your animal guide. So you might keep seeing pictures of leopards wherever you go, or you might keep seeing ladybirds, or I don't know, you, you know, like somebody gifts you something and it's got, um, it's got a, um, a, a hedgehog on it. So that your animal guide is going to show itself this week to you. And Julie, your daughter's dog in spirit popped up in your memories today. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Okay, so beautiful message for you. There's lots to build on this week and it can only be done through the crown chakra, but there are important animal guides coming through to assist you with that. And then your message from my little deck of angels and chakras is beauty. You are imper imperfect, permanently and inevitably flawed and you are beautiful. That's a quote by Amy Bloom from Archangel Jophiel. And your question is, where is the true beauty within you and your life right now? Because you are beautiful, there's a lot of beauty surrounding you. And there's some kind of awareness coming for you this week about what that, that is, what that represents. So beautiful messages for you. I hope you enjoyed them. So who chose the bike, the bicycle, number two? Um, the message for you here is the bicycle. It's a really great way for us to get some fresh air for us to travel, but we can see far more on the bicycle than we can if we're in a car. It's the convenient, isn't it? This is all about balance. This is all about, you know, beauty, balance, harmony, fresh air. It's about, again, not going too quickly, but we're progressing, we're making progress. And, and you know, the, the slower you go that you build the muscle, so I was doing a Joe Wicks workout this morning. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, I keep holding myself to account, posting my little reminders in my stories about, oh, I did this workout this morning. So I did a 15 minute workout with Joe Wicks this morning on his YouTube channel. And he was doing this low impact hit routine. And everything was really slow exercises, very, very well defined in the movement. So we were doing some kind of um, bicycle crunches, you know, where you kind of put one elbow to the knee, you come up and, you know, do the opposite. But he was like, slow it right down because you'll actually make um, a stronger, more defined muscle when you do it like that. It's not all about like crash and burn. It's about that, that um definite movement and doing it right getting the form right so if you've got a bicycle get out on it or just you know 
pedal slowly, take in the views. This is a really good week to do that. What do you need to avoid? So we've got, um, this is like um, a document briefcase, satchel. It kind of reminds me of institutions, of rules, of being put in a box, of, you know, everything's so kind of sewn up and that's how we do things and that's the only way. It's very dry, it's very dull. It's, um, it's about being institutionalised you know, where we just get into a way of doing things and we think that's the only way. Well, you have a lot more freedom. You know, the bicycle gives you the freedom to see that the things around you. And with that, you will be able to notice things that you haven't seen before. So that's, um, that's a message for you. Um, you're getting lots of messages about taking things slowly at the moment, Nicole. Yeah, and you know, Mercury went um, direct on the 4th, but it doesn't, it's still in shadow. So probably until Valentine's Day, we need to be careful. We can't really go too fast with things. We just need to, to take a uh, press pause and just, just take a breath and think things through. And then, of course, from next Monday, we can all speed ahead and we can really get on with stuff. Let go is your message, number 18. So isn't this lovely? We have... I'm just feeling Archangel Michael all over this card. I don't know about you. Now, interestingly, that triangle is very similar to the one on the back of my um, Angel and Chakra cards. And I chose that triangle because that is the sign of spirituality. It's the divine masculine energy. It's that sense of, I know what is right for me. It's about truth and integrity. And the sword of Archangel Michael, that upward pointing triangle it's just like you know I've got my foundations these represent our values this represents cutting through anything that would try to impose itself upon you that goes against your values being able to be truthful and say no I don't want to do that I don't believe in that or this is what I represent so when we go back to the bicycle message and you know avoid the satchel you know this is like the way people would tell you this is how it's done and how it should be. We have the freedom to get on your bike and pedal along and to see things differently, see the world differently. But yeah, this is the throat chakra. This is honesty. This is listening to messages from the divine. This is being tough enough to let go of something that has come to the end of its shelf life. Number nine is all about, I'm nearly at the end of something. This is the final goodbye the final letting go, the final acceptance, you know, throat chakra is not just about speaking the truth, it's about hearing the truth, it's about saying, actually, you know what, in my heart of hearts, I know, I've clung on for so long and I just can't, I've got to have that freedom, I will not be imposed upon with the satchel, with the, with the regimentation, it's not for me. Did you choose to, <laughs> Gemma? And there you are, Archangel Sandalphon is coming into your life and he's saying, you are growing. Now, Kenshaw Sandalphon's message to you, number two, is I am growing and unfolding as I encounter each different stage of my life path. I'm not older. I simply grow in wisdom. I become richer with each experience. So grow rich from those experiences, not bitter. And hop onto that bicycle and go to the next adventure. Slowly. Pedal away slowly. You don't, it's not a racing bike. It's not a BMX. It's just a lovely pedal bike and it's about getting into balance. And he wants to ask you, what new wisdom have you gained recently? In what ways would you like to grow in wisdom over the coming weeks and months? So you're just growing and blossoming all the time, you know. It's this just unfolding of each petal. When you started out, whatever it is that you, you've been doing, your rosebud was very tightly packed. It was very, very, it was in a bud. And we couldn't see its potential. And people look at us and they think that's all we are because they can't see our potential. But our angels can see our potential. And they know when it's time to let go so we can grow even further and we can unfold all these amazing petals. So there you go, my loves. That's you, number twos. And then finally, number threes. We've got to get on and talk about yours, haven't we? We've got the coffee cup. Oh, do you know the coffee? This is such a mindful experience. 
when I think of coffee, I think of sitting in my kitchen, pouring myself a coffee, selecting the, the type of coffee that I'd like, the, the kind of drink that I'd like, the kind of temperature I'd like it at. Or when you go in a cafe, or when you get takeout coffee, you're in control of it, aren't you? You can choose exactly what you like, what flavour you would love. And you can have it any way you want. You can have it um, decaffeinated. You can have coconut milk or oat milk or no milk. Just like Julie, who's got no milk in. <laughs> so this is about you being able to make your choices, but make mindful choices, okay, my loves? And take time to smell and savour whatever choices you've made. And what to avoid? Hopping on the bus. You know, when you get on a bus, you're a passenger and it's like, I'm not in control. I'm being taken on this bus wherever the bus route goes. And it doesn't necessarily drop you at the door where you live at or the exact place you want to go to, does it? Not like a taxi where you can say, right, pick me up in my house and then drop me at this restaurant. You have to get on the bus with everybody else. You're treated like everyone else as though you don't matter. There's nothing personal about it. And then you're taken to a location where you have to get off and walk. If you're lucky, it'll drop you somewhere near. And buses are always late as well, aren't they? So it's like, the other thing is like, you haven't missed the bus. I think there's a really strong message for all of us this week about speed and hurry. And I've got to be where I'm supposed to be. Exactly, you know, how I wrote the script for myself. Your angels are going, no, just stop. And, you know, you are an individual. Order up from the universe what's exactly right for you. Take your time in making decisions. And in this moment, savour whatever is around you. Really enjoy all of the good things that are surrounding you and a part of your life. Okay, so our messages from these beautiful cards today... Let your light shine. Oh, got another number nine there with a 45. Four and five equals nine. And nine is I'm nearly there. Wherever there is, I'm nearly there. Or certainly the next pit stop in the milestones of my journey. Look at you. You know, sometimes, and you know, give me a like if this is you. Sometimes you think that you've got to make yourself your light dimmer just to make other people feel better. Sometimes you can't feel like you can brag about things. Like I came on this morning and went, oh, got my 6,000th order on Sunday. My book came out. And then you're like, oh, should I say that? Am I rubbing people's noses in it? Am I showing off? But the fact is that you did those things, that you achieved things. You stood up for yourself. You achieved a, an important, um, you know, certain progress in whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And you... You did things and you should be proud of yourself. And if you can't be proud of yourself, then who are these people that don't like it? If they don't like it, that's tough for them because they've got their own issues. But don't dim your light for others, my darling. You know, just talk about it, shout about it, show off. It's not showing off, it's, it's sharing your light. And also for those of you who've got products or who've got business ideas, who've got something to offer the world and somebody needs it because you wouldn't have had that idea if they didn't don't sit telling yourself you're not good enough you're not experienced enough and nobody will want it because nobody will want it if they don't know it's there will they so i'm talking to you and you know who you are you've got something really fabulous to offer share share it shout about it get it out there and don't expect overnight success because overnight success is a nightmare. Because when you get a real big rush on of orders, it's horrible. You can't cope with it because you've got your structure in place. So just deal with whatever comes. If it's trickling in, it's fantastic. Celebrate everything and let your light shine because the world needs you to let your light shine. Because you're letting your soul down. You are letting down the value made to be your biggest, brightest, best self. And don't let yourself down, okay? Just because you're worrying about other people. And your message, oh my gosh, look at this. We've got how perfect. 
there is a target and you gotta fire your arrow at it and even if you miss you're still you're still do, doing it you're in the game you you're playing it ideas and inspiration from archangel uriel this is the solar plexus chakra this is the light this is you shining your light not worrying about other people what they think of you it's none of your business my mind is powerful enough to come up with new ideas and solutions. I stay resourceful and continue seeking my highest potential. Oh, yes. And even if that hits there or there or doesn't even hit the target, just keep on going. Because, you know, with practice makes perfect. So what issues are you facing that need a new perspective? How do you need to see yourself so that you can shine your light? What have you not tried yet? Or, or not yet tried, even. What can you do differently? And most of all, how can you let your light shine? How beautiful. I love it when you're shining. I love it when my lovely customers message me and they go, this happened and I'm so excited. I have a customer who has moved across America from one side of America to the other and um, she's almost like started over and she's, been building up her card reading practice and reiki and all kinds of stuff and she's always messaging me telling me about things that have happened and how she's progressing and i just love every single message i'm just so rooting for her i just love it and so you know if there's people you can't tell about successes tell me because i just i want to hear it it raises my vibration because i feel like oh gosh you know i'm with people who just care and they want to make the world a better place and they want to make themselves better and it just reassures me that that you're out there my lovely tribe okay so weren't those gorgeous those messages today if you like the cards they're available in my online shop <laughs> quick plug of my own stuff and i'm wishing you an absolutely fantastic week now next monday is valentine's day and i've got all kinds of lovely things for you planned so can can you make it for a special valentine's day day of love with me next Monday, where well, we're going to get all loved up with ourselves. And um, I'll be making a few suggestions um, before that of ways you can build up to Valentine's Day. Because I'm single and really happy and I'm going to be treating myself and having a date with myself on Valentine's Day. So I'm very excited about getting, getting myself ready for this date. I hope you'll join me and I'll see you next Monday at 11. Take care, everyone.